Let's apply some more fillets. Again, be sure tangent propagation is checked. And I'll just continue with my selection of edges. I've still got my preview in yellow lines, so I know that SolidWorks is able to calculate my requests. Okay, looks good so far. And here too, this edge as well. Let's go to the other side now. This edge and this edge over here, and just a few left. And last one here. Hmm, let's take a look. All right, let's click Accept. Now let's take an isometric view. I need to apply fillets to the inside faces, so let's take a section view also. Let's accept this section view. And now activate the fillet command. One millimeter radius is fine. Begin our selections. Ensure tangent propagation is checked. And we see our preview in yellow line in the graphic area, so SolidWorks is still able to sort this all out. Let me zoom in a bit so I can see better. Almost done here. Let's click Accept. Let's take an isometric view. And we need to apply fillets to the other side, so let's reverse the section direction and click Accept. And I'll just reorient my model to take a better look at what's going on. I just selected that face by accident. I'll just click in blank space to deselect it. Just rotating the model to have a look inside of the section view. Everything here looks fine. Let's go back to an isometric view. This concludes this chapter in the gear housing project. We've just got a little more to do to finish up. We'll see you back in a minute.